All right, so in today's video, I wanted to bring you guys my top 10 sneaker deals from Nike and Jordan brand because right now Nike has a sale that is pretty good. In fact, some of the things that were excluded in the previous round of sales, they are actually included this time. So there's definitely a lot of good deals. So let's go ahead and get into my top 10. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. And if you guys do wanna shop my top deals that I do post for you guys, I do link them down below, as well as any of the deals that I'm gonna be talking about in this video, I will link below as well. So before we get in, I just wanted to show you guys that Rejuvenator has actually rebranded and completely changed the look of their product. And it looks really, really clean, great looking product. And they changed not just the look, but they've also changed some of the formula, as well as some of the deliverables that they offer. So it's definitely worth a look to see what revamped stuff they've done. Also, if you didn't know, Rejuvenator is actually doing free shipping now as well. I will have a video soon of the comparison of products from the old to the new. Leave a comment in the comment section though, what do you guys think about Rejuvenator's new branding? All right, so let's just jump in the top 10 deals that I posted for you guys. There's more than 10 that I posted on my website, so definitely go check it out. The deals are crazy good this time around. They actually have a lot more on the table than they have previously. I feel like they're digging into some of the stockpile too and putting some of the older products back on the site as well. So it's a win-win for those that have been looking for some stuff that maybe has reappeared on the site. All right, so the number 10 spot for myself goes to the Atmos Air Max 2. And this collab is one that I saw at ComplexCon a while ago. The Air Max 2 model doesn't really have the, the respect in today's day and age. I personally never owned a pair back in the day, so I don't have a strong affiliation to that model. But I love what they did with the colorway though. It's really, really colorful and bright. Retail is 160, I believe, and now they're on sale for 104. So it's nice to actually see them discounted at a pretty good price. The number nine spot on the countdown actually goes to a pair that I'm really tempted to pull the trigger on. 42 bucks for a pair of Nike Blazer mids in a chocolate colorway with a gum sole. It's a really clean looking colorway for less than half price. $42 is a really good price point. So if you're looking for a casual pair of sneakers for under 50 bucks with those brown vibes, it's definitely a nice choice. Some of the other colorways are more expensive, but this one definitely has the most bang for the buck. So the number eight spot goes to the Pegasus 36, which is only 50 bucks. Retail, I think is 120 on this shoe. There's only one colorway that's 50 bucks. The rest of them are definitely priced higher, but uh, it's definitely a lot of bang for the buck. It's a really well-rounded, versatile sneaker. A lot of my friends that actually run in Nike sneakers choose to run in the Pegasus. So it's definitely one of those shoes that you can run in, but it's also a casual shoe as well that you can wear casually. It's a firmer support system than anything like Nike React has, but if you prefer that fit, it's definitely a great price point in a tried and true model of the Pegasus. So 50 bucks, definitely a nice price point. For the number seven spot, I chose the LeBron 7 in the Christmas colorway. It's only $115. Retail is $200 on the LeBron 7s. So this is the best part of the coupon deal right now is it actually stacks on the sale price already discounted. So the LeBron 7s are 154 with a discount of an extra 25%, it equals 115 bucks. So, so definitely a better price than that 200 price point. If you were looking for the LeBron Christmases and you were waiting for that retro to drop in price, now's the time. Also, they do have three or four other colorways of the LeBron 7. The Chlorine All-Stars are the ones that I really wanted, and I would buy them for the 150 price point that they are now, but unfortunately, they don't have my size left in stock. Also, the sales end, I believe, on the 8th. So just so you guys know. So the number six spot goes to a pair of sneakers that I haven't owned yet, and it's actually one that I've been interested in. I just never ended up buying a pair. Retail was 150, you can get them now in select colorways for only 60 bucks, and that is the Nike ACG React Terra Gobe. Or is it Gobe or Gobi? I don't know how to say the last word. It looks like a nice ACG version with Nike React on it, a nice little match made in a pair of sneakers. The design looks pretty cool on the shoes. Some colorways are definitely more expensive than others, but the blue colorway specifically is only $60, so uh, definitely worth a look. So if you've tried these ACG Reacts before, leave a comment in the comment section, let me know. Do you like them? Is it worth buying them when the price you paid for them? Because this sale price seems pretty good. That's why I put them on the number six spot. All right, so here we are for the top five. The five spot for myself personally goes to the Denim Air Jordan 6. Only $120 retail is $200 on that shoe. And it's a colorway that I really, really dig. And it's a, a model that I like, obviously the Air Jordan 6, but I've been really dying to distress a pair and maybe bleach and distress a pair of the denim. Cause I wanted to do that with the Levi's back when the Levi's dropped and I never got a pair. But the sixes kind of give you that vibe and I've been wanting to customize a pair. If you guys actually want me to buy a pair to customize, drop a like on the video, leave a comment, let me know you'd want to see it. I feel like it's the lowest price point they're gonna get for them and hopefully my size is still available. It's a really decent looking pair of sneakers. It looks pretty premium as well with the leather on the tongue. And I like the fact that the leather is kind of tan. Not a bad looking shoe. All right, so the number four spot, shifting gears a little bit. This goes to a Nike 
Nike Air Tailwind 4, which is one of the shoes that I really, really wanted Nike to retro. Unfortunately, the colorways that they brought back were just mediocre, but that doesn't mean some of the OG colorways that they did bring back are ones that I've had my eye on. The price points on those are actually pretty good, $65 for a pair of the Tailwinds. Not bad when they retailed, I think, at $160, $180 originally. And uh, so $60, bucks, 63 bucks isn't bad. Unfortunately, the ones that I've seen like ultra deep discounted are the colorways that I have not preferred historically. But it's definitely a model that I've had my eye on. As you can see right here, I have the OG colorway here that I wanted. They never retro this one. It would have been cool to see it. But, uh, but yeah, man, 63 bucks pair of Air Max Tailwind 4 is not too terrible. All right, so the number three spot goes to the React Element 87. Again, last month it was a top contender for the deal that they had for the Anthracite colorway for 90 bucks. It's still back down to that $90 for that colorway. But now they have one better. You can actually get a different colorway for only $68, which is the cheapest I've seen. If you really want to try the shoe out, that's a great price point. Entry level at $68. It's cheaper than the 55s, which is the knockdown model. But speaking of the 55s, it's actually a really good deal for those as well. The 55s are actually 53 bucks on the low end now as well. So just for a little bit over 50 bucks, not terrible to get a pair of the 55s. And fundamentally, the, the soles are the same on the 55s and the 87s. It's just the upper that's a little bit more premium on the 87s. So uh, both of them not bad choices and really decent prices for those also. All right, so the number two spot goes to the Off-White Vapor Streets. Uh, this is an interesting one. Surprised that they actually put them on discount. The Waffle Racers are actually not discounted, but these ones are. So uh, they've been flying off the shelves. The yellow colorway is almost sold out, it looks like. But the black and uh, purple colorway is actually sitting in pretty good sizes. So if you get them early enough, you'll probably be able to pull the trigger and get them. Retail on them is 190 and now they're on sale for 142 Not too terrible considering it is an off-white collaboration and we don't usually see those on sale. However, this model for me personally is just too narrow. But at the end of the day, I think the sale price is enough to get people to pull the trigger and try it out for those that actually wanted to get a pair of off-whites. Under retail is definitely a better look. So before we get into the number one spot, there's four runner-ups I wanted to mention. So for $85 instead of $200, you can get the Air Max 98 on-air collaboration designed by Gabrielle Serrano. And that was one of the ones from Air Max Day last year. $85 is a super steal though. Uh, lowest price we've seen. Speaking of super steals, retail 220 now only $91. The Air Jordan 8 SE with the crazy neon vibes. $91 is a crazy price for an Air Jordan Retro and retail is $190. These ones retail at $225, so it's crazy, crazy that the price point is that low, but uh, they have those in some good sizes. Next up, for only $85, you can get these Clot Air Max Havens. This is like the Volt colorway, which is super nice in my opinion. And I got these from the Nike outlet for a little bit cheaper than that. But the fact you can get them online in full size run in three different colors, I have them in two different colors. I have the whites and I have this colorway. All the colorways are actually really nice. And if you're an Air Max fan, these things are definitely a good buy. 85 bucks versus 200. And it is a cool collaboration that just doesn't get enough love. And the last runner up that I wanted to mention is for $98, you can get the Undercover Daybreaks. They do have more sizes available in the women's selection than the men's, but they do offer the men's sizings at the women's selection as well. So it will tell you if you buy a women's 10, it is a men's 11 and a half. And for 90 bucks, for the colorways that they have, the black colorway specifically is a great price because that colorway is super clean and you can wear it with anything. They also have a Christmas green and red colorway that's the same price. Really good price on those as well, considering retail is, I think, 160. So those are all the runner-ups that I wanted to mention. If you like the video, drop a like on the video if you want to see more of these. I will probably have an Adidas one next week at some point as well. The number one spot goes to this pair of sneakers right here. This is a Black Satin Air Jordan 1 Highs. Only $89 right now. Retail is $170. I honestly don't know why people are sleeping on these. It kind of reminds me of the Cyber ones from back in the day. People were sleeping on those as well. But this is a really solid colorway. It's black and it has satin accents on it. A white midsole, black outsole, little hit of red there and there. And they had red laces, but I swapped them out with black laces. But the black leather on here is actually really good. And the satin is nice as well. The only downside is you will get creasing across the toe box. But, but if you wear your sneakers, they're going to crease no matter what. What I did when I got my pair originally is I actually customized them to an 85 looking Air Jordan. This was a really simple custom to do. I just painted the leather spots um, that were black to the red and that was it. I mean, I didn't have to do anything crazy. Did a couple layers on here. It sticks really, really good. Hit it with a finisher spray. I did a full tutorial video on how to convert these. I think it looks really good. I only did one. I left the other one like this. I might actually change this one up in a different pattern or something, but I'm honestly thinking about buying another one just to customize them in some other colorways. That would be kind of fun to do. So I feel like this is, the, I feel like the Air Jordan 1 High is definitely one of those models that a lot of people want. 
And this colorway is a really wearable colorway, but they're not flying off of shelves or they just made a ton of these things. Cause $89 is a steal considering retail is 170. It's not 160, but that's the number one spot. But what do you guys think about the Nike sale? Have you guys found anything else that I didn't mention? There was some other things that I posted that I haven't mentioned on my website if you wanna go check it out. But leave some comments in the comment section if you guys picked up anything from the Nike sale and hopefully you guys are staying safe out there. Have a good week this week and we will see you guys for some more sneaker videos soon. Peace guys.